who may not have gotten that opportunity to start or get more minutes. So don't put it past this. You see Christoph Porzingis right there ready to kind of try to carry this team on his shoulders. Missed the last couple of games with a toe injury. He will play tonight. That brings us to the starting lineups presented by Zions Bank, the official bank of the Utah Jazz. And for the visiting Dallas Mavericks, Jalen Brunson will start at one guard. Frank Nielakina at the other. Sterling Brown, Porzingis, yes, will start. And Dwight Powell, that's your starting five. Man, if you will, because they're looking to come in here and upset this Jazz team on Christmas. For them to add a 7-6, or excuse me, 7-3 player to the mix right now. Yeah, he says that obviously is a big addition to Jason Kidd's lineup tonight. I'm really interested to see if he's going to mix it up. Fort Stinkus, I'm talking about. Go inside mostly, trying to draw Rudy out. He can really do it all. You just mentioned some of his quality. This is his third consecutive start tonight here in Salt Lake City. Conley lets it ride for three. Seven assists and four threes in the win against Minnesota. 19 points in Thurl, nearly 60% from three. Yeah, and he has just been deadly. And those numbers, you can't be quiet, but you see Bogey just go out. Doesn't talk a lot, goes out, gets it done. He's way around, but catching it where start. You see his numbers, just 28% from three, but he can block shots and he can rebound in a big way. Brunson was the national player of the year in college 2018 when Villanova won the national championship. He can really play, guys. They're there, but Porzingis stays with it. We want to jump ball on that. Point to us the other day that sometimes it's tough to be at home. As you see, Rudy, he got a nice hand on it. He wanted the tie up there and maybe has a point because they were both connected on that ball in that moment. But uh, the assistant coach said sometimes it's hard to be home for the holidays. All your four three points a game in the last five. Bogey guarding Sterling Brown. They switch. Low block for Zing is up against Royce. Hassan Whiteside, Joe Ingles on the court after the timeout. And Porzingis, bucket and a foul. Royce on a reach in and a three point opportunity. And Porzingis' team, the big guy, is making a statement early. Yeah, that's a tough guard right there. Even though Royce is a great defender, you've got a big guy who has nice touch around the basket, doesn't need to get to the rim. That turnaround jumper, really unblockable. You can see part of the Utah philosophy is to have Boyan help. The nine, the opening quarter, rotated. They double down Bogdanovich in the corner. Shot clock at seven. He's going to roll. Now step back, Jay. Green holds it up and out. And Porzingis, who lost it out of bounds. It's going to be off Porzingis. He thought he was going to run back on D and not happy with the call. Porzingis, if he just joined us, playing tonight after missing the last two of the toe injury, and he draws a foul down. When the big is guarding. We'll get one more. And jumps his nine points through nearly six minutes. There were four of ten shooting, one of five from three. Turnover's a problem. There's a guy undrafted down at UCLA. Donovan Mitchell, step back two, short. Offensive rebound, white side. Long. Chris Stapps, Porzingis, rebounds and clears. Well, he was seven to lead Utah. Seven of the 11 here to start. And Jason Kidd wants Porzingis back in the lineup. So this quarter is going to be about ball security. Taking care of the basketball. I'm allowing Dallas to have easy looks. 13 to 4 run. George King went up high to grab that loose ball. Elakina back on the floor for Zingas. Three point range, short. Three it doesn't take the Jazz long to figure it out. Maybe they need some off timing on that lob. That lob to Rudy Gobert. Let's see, Joe saying did not happen the way you called it. He turns. The video doesn't lie. Technical on Joe. He keeps talking about it. You know, I talked about. Did you miss that?
That's the first miss for, for Dallas from the line tonight. Hustle statistics, the hustle plays. Booty's in there with three other white jerseys. Virginia's got a piece of that shot by Clarkson. Brunson jumps into the paint one on one with Donovan. Porzingis turns around and hits. Yeah, that's Porzingis' game right there. Playmaker as well. Has to decide when it's, when it's dawn time, basically. Mitchell has scored three of three from the line. That ball jumps out of bounds off the hands of Porzingis. Yeah, right there on that drive. It's like the C parted. Porzingis. Drives in on bogey, turns, fires that shot, rolls up, and a the ball. He scored seven straight for the Jazz in nine of the last 11 here. Going for three more. For Zingas. Dallas. Milakina pushed from the back and won. There's a technical on the floor as well. Let's see, they're going to flip this around. The technical is Donovan. At first, they gave the foul to Gobert. Yeah, it's Rudy's first. And it's small, but he's got a great vertical. Joe with a hang in the air for a shot. Donovan gives it away to Roy. Slices inside, ball dropped. And it hit the baseline. Out of bounds will be Dallas. Boyd Singh is just volume him, volume him up, not allowing him to catch the ball easy. The switch. Can, Takes off that turn ankle. Bogey picks him up, stares him down. Powell tries to screen. They go big to Porzingis. Turns, fires up a shot, and hits over O'Neal. That's that's tough to handle one on one. Conley races into front court against Powell. Hands to Bogey. Tough to get Rudy the ball with Porzingis on him, but that time Porzingis fouls him as Rudy is trying to fight. Just to see what Quinn will do here. That's four fouls on Bogdanovich. Early, early here in the third. Eight minutes left. Brunson against Bogdanovich. Goes left to right and spins one up and out. Rudy fights. Porzingis wins the battle. 74-72 Dallas. And you like the fact that Coach Quinn stops. Throwing Brown in the front court. The double down from Zingas. Brown goes to the three-point line. Student rhythm is a dangerous thing. He's proven that this season. Last five games, he's getting 59% from three. Yeah. <laughs> That's out of sight in this league. Wow. Watching this replay, that just looks like a maybe some elbow early, but like the third foul for Zingas will shoot two. Over for the rebound. A great aggressive play again by Donovan Mitchell. Just picked up the shot to go. That was really smart. Donovan with Dallas and Moses Brown. Yeah, Donovan 0 for 6 right now from 3. All of his shots look good. How about that D? But still, Persingas at 7 2 able to muscle one up over Royce. A few of those. And Donovan missed a few right at the rim. Mike Conley missed one early. Under five minutes to play. White side comes by to help him. So for Zingas, he needs a double team. He's crafty. Well, Zingas is crafty. He's, he's not your prototypical big guy who stretched the floor. He's got so much in his bag. He can dig in a hole. Christmas, I'm just happy to be with the team. Oh, he's playing hard. And that catches anyone, John. Hassan. This is the second defense, but those are the early looks the Jazz are looking to get. They're not always threes. Mike Conley finding a nice open path to the basket there. Jazz by two. Porzingis. Chris the rebound feeds the big man again and foul from behind. 21 points, 16 shots. Back in the line for the tenth time. All stars for the first time. The Jazz have three All Stars. In this Dallas team. Rudy runs it over to the corner. Boy, Mike gave up the three. Here's Joe. That starts a long break to go to Sterling Brown. He'll drive it up. Missed that. Defense there to prevent that. We went right by Porzingis. So what's great about that is he's... Three left. Jump shot. A bit short. 
Porzingis feeds inside. Rudy Gay for the 107 ball game. That's switching everything. Keeping Rudy out on Jalen Brunson on the switch as well. See if boys can get some help here on the post up. Look at him battle for Zingas. He let he pulled the table just a bit. Balls loose out to Brunson. Donovan Mitchell rides his hip. Jump shot, no. Bogey rebounds. We got a loose ball foul. And now we got Porzingis tied up with Royce O'Neal. Slapping away. I don't know if any fisticuffs, but boy, tied up. Yeah, it looks like Porzingis, they both were tied up. Porzingis was going down and took Royce O'Neal down with him. And the crowd's booing because you can see on the Jumbotron, and Royce O'Neal keeps pointing up there for the officials that he had him. Foul on O'Neal. Crowd still booing here at Vivian Arena. They go back outside of Sterling Brown with Bogey. Porzingis just not bought Donovich. I mean, down on a screen. This was very obvious. You see Porzingis step right into Bogey. On the blind side of them, a 12 of 35 and 12. Four of those 12 three point shots have come off the hand of Boyan. Three by Conley. 115 107. Porzingis tied up in the paint. Fouled. Big. Number four in the NBA. 44% from downtown. Ooh, huh? That looked kind of clean from Royce O'Neal there. Maybe he got a piece of Porzingis' hand, but. 24 for, Zing for Porzingis. He's been at the line now 13 times. He's 10 of 12. Possession ball game right now for the Jazz. Zingas gave up the shot, the threes are within. Good. Mitchell puts his hands up. They get it to, Chris, to Porzingis. Jumps it over Gobert. 27. They find Donovan in the backcourt. He's going to try to run clock. Look at him. Look at him outrun Sterling Brown. And Donovan throws that ball in the air, and it's over. Christmas. Christmas night victory for Utah. Porzingis, I think tonight you've got to learn the ways. You're not going to blow a lot of teams out.